Vygotsky believed that children learned from older members of society. What they were taught was a reflection of what was important to the culture through cooperative dialogue between the child and the adult or elder peer. As a child begins to problem solve, his or her eternal dialogue is reflective of the cooperative dialogue the child has had with the elder. For example, as a child works through a mathematical problem, like how many marbles are on the table, they may use their finger to point and say the number of each item as they count. This is a result of the teaching they had from the adult when they were first learning how to quantify. Bogotsky is responsible for introducing the concepts of the Zone of Proximal Development, or ZPD. This zone is the area between what the child knows, or has mastered, and what the child can master with assistance. Going back to counting marbles, when a child is able to count, as in he knows his numbers, but does not know how to count consecutively and put a number to the next item, the child does not know how to tell you the number of marbles on the table. Working in the ZBD, the teacher would take the child's finger and point to the marble saying 1, then point to the marble with the child saying 2, and so on and so forth. After the teacher has done this with the child, the child then begins again from the start and points to the marble without the assistance of the teacher and says 1, etc. If the child stops pointing or cannot name the next number, the teacher reminds him to point or assist with the number that comes next. Once the child has mastered this counting exercise, the next time the child needs to count items, his internal dialogue will reflect the instructions of the teacher, and you will often see him point to the item while counting aloud. The ZPD does not always have to be entered in with the teacher. It can also be accomplished with a peer who already has mastered the skills that the struggling child is unable to complete without assistance. This opens the door for socialization in the classroom, allowing students that are farther ahead to help those students who are still struggling to master a concept. Gatsky's theory stressed the influence that culture had on what children learned. In industrialized nations, teachers help people learn to read, drive a car, or use a computer. Among the Xantico Indians of southern Mexico, adult experts guide young girls as they master complicated weaving techniques. In Brazil and other developing nations, child candy sellers with little or no schooling develop sophisticated mathematical abilities as a result of buying candy from wholesalers. Pricing in in collaboration with adults and experienced peers and bargaining with customers on city streets. So in reviewing Wachowski's theory, it is important to understand that what a child learns is largely dependent on what the culture he lives in deems important.